Hello everyone, I'm Elijah and today in our studio we have new Ultrabook Jumper EasyBook 3. So this is $250 notebook built on Intel Celeron N3350, has 4GB of DDR3 L random access memory and 64GB of eMMC that can also be extended with SD card up to 128GB plus laptop running on licensed version of Windows 10, which is quite rare for Chinese laptops. EasyBook 3 has simple but attractive design. Case of the laptop certainly looks like it was made of metal, but unfortunately it is not. And top, bottom and keyboard panels made of plastic. It feels very light and can easily be held with one hand. The weight of the device is around 1.2 kilo. On the right side of the laptop you will find mini jack for headphones, USB 2.0 and slot for SD card. While on the left there are LED notification light that will light up during the charge, there is a DC port, USB 3.0 and mini HDMI. Speakers of the device are located on the bottom part of the laptop, which is why sound is a bit muffled. EasyBook equipped with 14 inch 1080p IPS display with anti-glare coating. Display is very bright and works perfectly on the direct sunlight. Moreover, it seems that it is even too bright and while using it with the dim light or no light at all, you may want to decrease brightness. When you're looking on the screen at the horizontal or top angles, it doesn't have any problems, but if you look at it from the bottom, it looks quite washed out. Another feature of EasyBook 3 is its very thin, less than 1cm bezels. It's so thin that manufacturers even had to put 0.3 megapixel camera on the lower left corner. EasyBook 3 has very decent keyboard that will suit for both typing and gaming, however I found two flows. First one is a known placement of power button, which is located near backspace button. And while using the laptop I several times accidentally sent it to sleeping mode. And another flow, which is less noticeable, is the plastic keyboard panel and it's flexing quite a lot. This is not going to be a problem for the most user, but those who use an easy book for professional typing may feel some discomfort while using it. The laptop's suitable for work and surfing the internet, but don't need to expect from it amazing gaming performance. For sure, it will not be able to run games like Witcher or Doom, and frankly speaking, I haven't even tried since I think it's pointless. Instead, we have tested EasyPad on Elder Scroll Oblivion. On the medium settings, games showing the result around 1720 FPS and 2530 FPS on the low settings. Again, I have to remind you that it is not a gaming laptop, you should not expect high performance. Under the hood device has 10,000 mAh battery that will work for around 8 or even 9 hours of normal usage. Under the load of Elder Scrolls Oblivion, the result is around 3-4 hours and of course charge time is about 3.5-4 hours. And that is all for today, I am Elijah. If you want to purchase this device, just press this icon over here or follow the link in the description below. Subscribe to our channel, like our video. Thank you for watching and farewell.